So every triathlon, whether it's an Ironman triathlon or a sprint triathlon, has three disciplines, swimming, biking, and running. That's what constitutes a triathlon, period. A full Ironman is a total of 140.6 miles across all three disciplines. A half Ironman is referred to an Ironman 70.3. You're swimming 1.2 miles, you're biking 56 miles, and then you're finishing with a run of 13.1 miles. Hi, my name is Kevin Hoyes, and I love pushing myself towards challenges and opportunities to grow. My original goal was never to do an Ironman race. Four or five years ago, I signed up to do a sprint triathlon race with a buddy of mine solely for the purpose of checking the box and saying that I had done a triathlon in my life. It was a goal of mine and I knew that it would challenge me to do multidisciplinary endurance sport and so I went about training for it and after the race when I crossed that finish line I was shocked to feel and, and, and tell myself that I had more in me. I told my buddy right afterwards I said I think I want to train for a half Ironman. And it wasn't a goal I had before that race. I really thought that would be my one and done triathlon. But there was something about crossing that finish line knowing that I had more potential in me, knowing that my training had, had equipped me to run that particular race well and finish it confidently, that I knew with the right training and discipline and awareness and focus that I could set a new goal for myself within that within that field. And so now it's exciting to actually be on that journey and to be committing myself to the process and the training and the discipline and the priorities and the focus that it takes to do a half Ironman. Um, it's not easy, but it's doable when you put in the right work and make it a priority. And so, so that's the inspiration behind it. You know, sometimes when you're out on these long training sessions, like this one I did last week, I, it was the longest in the whole training plan. I think I was biking 50 miles and then I did a 10 mile run afterwards. I was in the run and I was struggling. I was hurting, I was a bit discouraged. I, I felt like I wasn't running as efficiently as I would have liked. I'm just a couple weeks out from race day at this point and I'm starting to ask myself how this is gonna translate into my race performance. So I'm getting a little discouraged and, and it's so easy in those moments to start second guessing things, to start second guessing yourself, your training. And I just started visualizing the finish line and I started visualizing uh, my mom that's gonna be waiting at the end of it for me and the friends that are coming down to cheer me on throughout the race. I started visualizing even my dad who's not here with me just looking down from heaven and just i started telling myself like you know your dad's proud of you kevin your mom's proud of you like they're gonna wait for you there your brother's gonna be there you, they're cheering you on and it was just so powerful to start visualizing myself cross that finish line and to have that vision towards accomplishing the goal and the journey that i set out towards and i think in that moment, I started realizing that that's a lot of how life is. It's these moments where we have goals and we have vision for where we want to go and, and how we want to run this race that is life. And yet it's riddled with moments where we get discouraged. Maybe there's pain involved, opportunities for doubt to creep in and, and you start questioning yourself and your purpose and if you're gonna be able to accomplish the things in your life that you feel the desire towards. And one of the reasons that I'm so, I love the process of training for a triathlon is it gives you these tangible moments to practice focusing on the finish line and focusing on what's important and reminding yourself that there's people in your life that are proud of you, that are cheering you on, that are supporting you, that, that your training has prepared you for this moment and for a future moment to continue pressing onward towards your goals. It doesn't minimize the pain, it doesn't minimize the discomfort in the moment, but it actually provides you opportunities to push through that and realize things about yourself that you didn't even know were there and that you're capable of. So that one day, when you cross that finish line, 
you were able to look back and and not only be encouraged about what you were able to accomplish, but also be inspired towards pressing towards more. And so I can't wait for April 2nd. I can't wait to be in, in that race. I, I, I know there's gonna be moments where the pain is coming and the realities of running a race and a triathlon and a half Ironman is going to kick in. That's unavoidable, that's reality. But I'm ready for it because there's this inner passion and fire that I have and that I've experienced in some of these lonely training sessions I've done that have prepared me for those moments. And just the idea of crossing that finish line and knowing that all the work was worth it for that moment um, is exciting to me.